so here we go. So, you know, it's kind of weird to me. The more and the more that I try to do research or that I try to look into things and try to come to any kind of an understanding of what the world is, you know, it always leads back to the Bible. And, you know, the more that I've looked in it, and I've looked at it, it's like, you know, uh, phrases, words, sayings, they mean things. To a point, what people would almost even consider it is that the words that you speak are pretty much a spell. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, the English language was actually pretty much written mathematically. That's a that's another rabbit hole to jump down. Uh, not for tonight, though. Um, but you know, like words mean things, and you know we. And a lot of times, people will say you don't even realize you're saying spells. Well, if you don't really know true meanings of words, you know that's easy or you know easy to understand to a point. Let alone if, you know, you're lied to about what things mean, but they smack you right in the face of it. I mean, an easy example is NASA. NASA in Hebrew means to deceive or deceiver. I mean, hello, that, that should open your damn eyes right there a little bit to how whack freaking and stupid NASA is. I mean, they get $57 million a day out of our pockets, and they only put, like, two or three cameras on the supposed space station that's up there. Yeah, that makes a hell of a lot of sense. Who spends billions or trillions of dollars on something and only uh, and decides to skimp out and only have three cameras that are pointed in certain directions? It's, it, it's hilarious. I mean, it makes literally no sense. You know, if you've, anybody that's done any of their own research for you to understand how fake and whack NASA is. And then, let, let's get to the big one. The next great deceiver. You know, it's funny because I keep asking people, do you know who Bale is? Ball. By Bale. Whatever you want to call it. I keep asking, and these are, these are Christians. Even my own mother. I asked her, I'm like, do you know who Bale is? Or Bell? Do you, do you know who that is? No. I'm like, man, you confess to be a Christian and you go to church every freaking week? I feel bad for it because it's like, yeah, I guess you're just one of those lukewarms or something. Because I don't really think you're understanding or seeing, uh, <clears throat> seeing things for what you need to. So, you know, if we, if you just take a little bit of time to just step back and just think a little bit, I mean, what, what is... You know, bail, ball. And then, why don't you think, uh, what is this great book that we read called? By bail. By bull. By bail. Things aren't coincidence. And I know that we keep being taught somehow <coughs> that things are coincidence. Things happen just because it's a damn coincidence. Well, I'm sorry, there are too many coincidences in the damn world. And the whole reason that the Lord, though, does not mind that the Bible, Bible, that Baal wrote the Bible, the reason that God does not care of this, the true Father, not, uh, the, trust me, the God of this world did have that book written and did write that book for the most part. But that's the God of this world. That's Satan. The true father, the reason that he... You must understand that truth needs nothing to hold it up. In no way do you need an explanation every, you know, 10 years, 5 years, 100 years, whatever you want to say it. You never need to come up with new understandings of what truth is. Because truth is only truth. The reason that people keep having to come up with new understandings and new beliefs and new ways to think of things is because they're all lies. I mean, everything that you've ever been taught since you were just a child, 
lies. I mean, they put you into school so that you spend a quarter of your life learning how to be a good sheeple. And and we continue to let our children be pushed and taken and and doctored into this insanity of lies. And, you know, it, it's just really crazy because, you know, everything that we're trying to do, and then if you look at, you know, where their perspective of the future is, there, there supposedly isn't going to be any jobs because, you know, AI and computers and machines are going to do everything. But here we are at the same time importing as many people from other countries and different places to make us divided and hate each other and fight each other. When, you know, you even have... Steve Jobs coming out, and you even have, you know, some of the smartest freaking people in the world saying, hey, you know, we're going to have 9 billion people on this planet before you know it, but if we do really well with vaccinations and, you know, with doctors and freaking da-da-da-da, we'll be able to curve that problem. What does that mean? You're, you're literally saying that we are have a population explosion that's too much to handle, and you say that you're going to handle it with vaccinations and, you know, like, does nobody, and, you know, you have people in the room clapping. And it's like, do you not even understand what they're saying to you? They're, they're literally telling you that they're going to literally make you sterile, which they already are. You know, they're, these schools, it's supposedly because they get more money for funding this, that, or the other thing. But these damn schools, they have radio towers on top of, you know, the schools. You see them on top of fire stations. You see them on top of hospitals. These things are literally radiating you at the molecular level. And they've already talked about this and proven this more than 20 years ago. But here we are doing it. And if you bring anything up, you're a conspiracy theorist. Well, I'm sorry. It's not a conspiracy when it's freaking literally proven documented facts. And we're literally letting ourselves be sterilized. And I, that's not what the Father wants. We're, we're supposed to go forth, procreate, and make babies. And uh, trust me, that's not what's happening anymore. The reason that, you know, we'll be taken over by foreigners isn't because they're any better than us or anything like that. It's because we've been radiated so much they still haven't been radiated that much. So they can still come over here and have 10 babies. But, I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, most smart white people, or not even white, just most smart Western people, aren't having kids anymore. And, uh, and we're not even having kids at the, at the rate to, uh, you know, keep our population at what it's at. But you have these people that are like, well, you know, we're not going to be able to pay for people's retirement and all this unless we bring in all these unskilled workers and charge them for this. and da -da. You know, creating, you know, just the big bubble and the excuse for bringing in these people. But they want to bring in people because our birth rates are so low in these countries. But at the same time, these are the same people that are telling us that we're overpopulated. You know... These people never seem to amaze me on just their their ability to get people to listen to what they're saying and, like, believe it and just kind of go along with it as if it's, as if it's sanity. And I promise you, the farthest thing it is, is from anything, is it's far from sanity. But... When you can lie to people and you can convince them that they uh, are living on a bowl that spends a thousand miles an hour and they evolve from monkeys, well, if you can pull that lie off, you can pretty much pull off any lie that you want. Because once you've gotten away with the biggest lie in the world, pulling off any other lie, well, that's just child's play. 100%. And nobody seems to, for whatever, get that or understand that. It's like, you've been lied to so hard your whole life, and you've conformed. No, well, not just you in general. I mean, just the population in general has conformed, and 
believe this great lie. I mean, we're, what, what, what can anybody do when you don't even know the place or the position of who you are and what you are and why you are here? When you don't even know that and you can't even understand that because you've been lied to your whole life, how in the hell in any aspect of any way are you really supposed to do anything important? How are you supposed to have any kind of an understanding? How are you supposed to teach your children? How are you supposed to teach society? You can't. Well, everybody is walking around with their thumb up their ass. And, you know, I mean, our eyes have literally been bludgeoned out. Our ears have speakers next to them that literally get loud as soon as any truth is spoken. You have any decent person that even comes to the ability or the understanding of what is truth, how to cure cancer, which they've known for over a hundred years. I'm pretty sure they've known it longer than that. But it's all vibrations. You know, just like it says in the Bible, God spoke and we're vibrations. That, that's what we are. And I mean, that's scientifically proven. And it's been scientifically proven that you can cure almost any disease, even to cancer, with the right vibration. What happens to every single one of these people that actually decides to come out? And be like, hey, I, I figured out how to cure cancer. I figured this out, and this is this is all it is. They're dead within weeks. Every time. The list of people that have been killed. The holistic doctors that die every week. It like do like I always say, think I'm stupid, do your own research. The number of holistic doctors that keep dying is insane. I mean, it is rampant. And I mean, and there are always these weird deaths. And literally, it's it's written off as suicide or accidents, and it's like, wait, that makes no sense. I mean, how many people can tie themselves up, strangle themselves to death, and then shoot themselves? I mean, it's uh, it's kind of hard to believe that any even that could even happen. One person could even do that, let alone that that seems to be the case. You know, for you know about a third of these damn freaking uh, people that end up dying, it makes no sense. I mean, why why have these people been killed that literally show how you can run a car off of water? I mean, th this is stuff they don't want you to know. I mean, you know, we were, we figured out how to run freaking jet engines off of freaking water back in World War Two. How do you how do you think the freaking uh, the Mustangs followed in the B fifty two bombers? How do you think that they freaking yeah? I know they had drop tanks, this, that, and other thing. What they really figured out was how to actually run those jet engines after they got started off of water, and it takes less. Imagine this. They have figured out how to, to literally use less water in volume to run these jets than actually combustible gas. Do you understand that? That's the power and that's what is in water. And, you know, we come to, you know, not even understand this and realize this. You know, I've, I've seen where people have figured out how to literally make what they consider a mini star in a glass of water using only vibrations. That literally is a nuclear engine that they are creating in a jar of water that is nothing but a vibration. You know, the, the things that, you know, people are getting killed for are, are, are these things. Because they're coming and proving this. People are re, re, rediscovering these things and coming to prove them and put them out into circulation or try to, you know, open people's eyes and let them know and they're killed. And, you know, right there, that should be, you know, our biggest thing more than anything is look into any industry or any field and look at the people that are actually figuring out how to do things more healthy, more cost effective, and make it more to where a high powered corporation doesn't need to run it that Joe Schmo can do it themselves. Those people are killed off so freaking quick. It, I mean, it, it's it, it's insane, and that we don't step back as a society and think about it at all, and say something and do something about this. Because well, it's not happening to me. Well, no, it's not happening to you yet, but it will be. 
it is a, such a slow kill of how they're coming after us and coming after our children. I mean, I'm not joking. The generation of kids, think of this. Think how crazy this is. That we are the most sex crazy driven society and population that there has ever been in known history. And for some reason we're infertile and we're not having kids. Think about it. It's not because the girls are remembering to take their damn pill. It's because they've literally radiated ourselves to literally kill our sperm count, to kill the eggs that grow inside of women, which are, without eggs growing inside of women, what, what, what are we? I mean, our point of being here is to reproduce, is to move forward, is to function. How do we move forward and function in any kind of a way when we can't even reproduce? And I know so many people, like, you, you got to look into this, but this is how sterile the population, especially the white population in Western countries have become because of all of the chemtrails, because of all of the freaking radiation, all of the cell phone towers, all the freaking fluoride in the water. It, it's, it's death by a thousand cuts. And it seems to be that even though that we have people stepping up and fighting for certain things, it almost seems like it, it still doesn't get handled because it still seems to be on this understanding that, you know, these people are crazy. And, you know, the funniest thing is it, most of this is completely documented and proven and even told to the public because it's talked about for 12 seconds instead of, over 12 months of something that is a complete lie that even though that we got the complete truth but we only heard it for fucking 12 seconds that completely means that it must not be true I mean it, if you look at the media you look at what it is I mean you're talking five different literally heads of corp or five different corporations you know they break it down into little other things but if you file follow it all the way up there is only five corporations that own 97% of all of the media. Nobody thinks that's a problem. Nobody thinks that's kind of an issue. Nobody thinks that that really is doing everything on their side to be able to brainwash us. And still, we go day by day, day by day, and nobody seems to care. And nobody seems to really want to stand up and fight. And hey, I, I know you're, you're listening to my video. You, I know you're a stand up, want to fight person. But when we talk about most of the rest of the population, that you would hope that you could wake up and you would imagine that they would listen, especially when you give them all the information right inside, in front of their face, and somehow they still will not listen. It... It, it seems to be, to me, kind of a pure insanity that for whatever reason, nobody can come to see for what it is. Nobody can come to actually find a, a rhyme, a reason, an ability to actually do something about these things. And they're all right in front of our face, and we still can't seem to figure it out. It, it is pure insanity to me. I mean, everything always leads back 100% to the Bible. It really does. The Bible, Bible, whatever. It does. Because, I mean, look at, look at the arrogance of man. Look at the Pandora's box. You know, Pandora's box was always thought of, you know, some mythical this, that, or the other thing. You know, it was always thought to be kind of this magic box. But think about it. What is the internet? I mean, think about these people that talked of things in a web around the whole planet. And around, you know, every... Like, think of that. What is more of a web than that? And what's so funny is, you know, they're... Literally, most of our communication is done with wires. I mean, they're, they're, there's more copper wiring going across and crisscrossing across the oceans and literally most people even can even imagine 
and they're still laying more, which I don't understand when, you know, supposedly, you know, almost a new satellite is going up every day, if not a couple. But somehow we got to keep laying down this copper wire to communicate. You know, it's all right in front of our faces, and it's just so sad that it's... It's too hard for anybody to even put together or see it for what it is. We live in a time where we have all the ability in the world to actually find whatever truth that we want. And we have so much ability to find information that they flooded us out with fake news. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's about the best way to put it. I mean, what are you supposed to do when 98% of everything that you ever hear is a complete crock of shit. And even worse than that, 98% of everybody on the freaking planet believes it. How are you supposed to move forward? It is, it's almost an impossibility to even know or think of, an, uh, of a rhyme or a reason of how you can actually push any truth forward when you have so much arrogance going on in the world. I mean, we've been spoon-fed lies our whole lives, and we just keep eating it and saying, thank you, may I have another serving? You know, when you, when you think about how incredible our body is, when you think about what just a cell is, just one single little cell inside of you, and you have no idea how many cells are just in one drop of blood, what a whole, what one little cell is, is literally the most complicated nuclear reactor that you could ever even come to imagine and people sit here and think that somehow we evolved from monkeys i'm sorry no uh that is mathematically impossible even if space was real and we lived on a freaking spinning ball and we had been here for 10 billion 20 billion 100 billion years it is still mathematically a impossible that our DNA would evolve to be what it is. But somehow we still believe this to be true because we've been taught we've been taught by the people that we're supposed to believe that are supposed to be geniuses that you know know everything about everything. So nobody wants to question reality because you live in a fake reality. I mean, that's kind of like when the, you know people are talking about the Matrix. Well, we do live in a Matrix because everything that you know is a lie. So how do you? How is it not a Matrix when everything taught from almost the day that you're born? I mean, look. Think of your parents and your grandparents. Your great grandparents probably never had one vaccine. Maybe they had two or three. Your grandparents. They probably had anywhere from five to eight. Now your parents. They had probably over 20. And now you look at you. And you've probably been given about 30. Now you look at the kids that are being born right now. And what they're expecting out of them. We're talking about 70 or 80 vaccines. That are almost literally by law. That you have to take. But to the point of a gun to the barrel of your head or that your children will be taken away from you or that your kids won't be able to go to school. Well, if your kids can't go to school, you're going to get in trouble with the law. And if you think school is a complete crock of shit, which it is, and you don't want to have your kids there, and you know, whatever your home study crap that you want to tell me I got to abide by, if you don't do that, you literally will have the tyranny of the law come and put a gun to your head to force you on that. And you can tell me that I'm crazy. Well, nobody will put a gun to your head. Yes, they will. Because if you tell them F no and they come to take your kids and you say F no and you don't unlock the door so they can come and take your children, they will put a gun to your head. They will kick down your door and they will take whatever they want. People don't realize, like, when we abolish slavery, which is a great thing, uh, it's a great thing. We abolish slavery, but at the same time as these people figured out how to make people slaves without them knowing it. And that is the society and the 
the world that we live in. That is our reality. And until we wake up and smack the shit out of the person next to us and make them wake up and hope that they do the same thing to the person next to them, we're fucked. Well, I love you all, and I hope the true father always walks with you.